This method can help answer key questions in the fields of cell and developmental biology, such as which proteins are involved in the regulation of non-muscle myosin II contractility, and which proteins are key in the fold degastrulation or fog signaling pathway. The main advantage of this technique is that when coupled with RNAi depletion, the cellular contractility assay can be used as a tool for gene discovery for proteins involved in fog signaling and non-muscle myosin II contractility. The implications of this technique extend toward our basic understanding of development. Non-muscle myosin II contractility is universally critical to cell shape change or morphogenesis that occurs during development. Though this method can provide insight into the development of Drosophila, it can also be applied to other systems because it is critical to a whole host of other cellular functions. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because getting correct cell density and recognizing the difference between contracted and non-contracted cells can be difficult. To begin, coat the glass portion of 35 millimeter glass bottom dishes with 200 microliters of Con-A solution. Incubate the dishes for approximately two minutes at room temperature in a tissue culture hood. After this, remove the Con-A solution and allow the dishes to air dry completely. Add approximately two milliliters of fresh cell culture media to each of the glass bottom dishes. Then, resuspend the S2R plus cells by pipetting the cell culture medium up and down. Transfer the resuspended S2R plus cells to the prepared glass bottom dishes. Then, check the cell density under a tissue culture microscope.